What's up, everybody? Uh, so today, I uh, want to show you guys a couple of pickups, and then I'm going to get into uh, some cards uh, that I plan on submitting uh, to PSA. So my uh, my boy, uh, Parlay J, uh, so he, he just got into collecting, and he's really into it, and uh, he's been dying to do a, a PSA submission. And so we figure, you know, if, if you do 100 cards... Uh, to PSA, the, it's a bulk uh, order, so it's it's eight dollars uh, per card. So we're we're both kind of put together fifty cards uh, that you know uh, that we could submit to PSA, which I literally just did a PSA submission a couple months ago with over one hundred and twenty cards. So I was a little reluctant at first, but after looking through my cards, there's actually a lot of cards that I think are worthy to submit. So I'll go through that in a little bit, and I'd love to hear uh, your advice, um, any recommendations that you guys have. Uh, but before we get into that, I just wanted to show you guys uh, one of my latest pickups. Uh, this is the 1984 Don Ross Joe Carter. Uh, I'm actually working on a uh, updated, I don't know, top 25, top 30 cards of cards from the 80s. Uh, and this will definitely fit in that uh, top 30, top 25, whatever I end up deciding to do. I'm looking to pick up one more card from the 80s, probably a big one, uh, before I do uh, my top cards. But uh, absolutely love this card. Uh, love the 84 Don Ross set. And uh, I think the 80s cards, uh, especially the, the high-end cards, are a really, really good investment right now, just in my opinion. So there you have it, the uh, Joe Carter 84 Don Ross rookie. Uh, and then one of my other, uh, so I got into a group break uh, that Mike O did. I've never done a group break in my life. Uh, and uh, he, he opened a, bu a bunch of uh, Topps Chrome Update, and I ended up getting the Padres. So uh, you can see here, Mike was like, sorry you got the Padres, <laughs> which I was like, oh, God. I don't, I don't think I even watched the, uh, the group break because I was just like, oh, you know. But, uh, you know, you can see here, got Lamette, uh, Hunter Renfro, Another Lamette, and then another uh, two Hunter Renfro. You know, uh, Renfro's a, a pretty good player. I think he had uh, over 30 home runs. Um, so he's a really good player, but, uh, you know, it's the Padres. So it's hard to get excited about that. Um, all right, so on to uh, the submission. And, again, I'd love to hear what you guys, um, you know, any thoughts that you guys have. So first off, I have a bunch of cards that I'm looking to uh, get – uh, re-encapsulated or do a crossover. So one of those cards, believe it or not, is the Mickey Mantle Rookie. And I'll, I'll explain why. So the reason why I'm looking to get this um, encapsulated uh, is, I don't know if you guys have noticed this, but uh, here and then a running across the bottom, uh, there is a little, it's a, you know, you could, you could tell that the, the case has cracked a little bit. And uh, it's always kind of bothered me. Um, it, you know, I, I have no reason to think that uh, somebody's, actually went in here and pulled a card out and pulled a, put a new card in. But of course, if I were to sell it, um, I could see someone kind of questioning that. Um, I have looked it over very carefully. The card looks as legit as any card could look. It looks like it, it's a three. It presents very well. Uh, I have no reason to think it won't cross over to PSA, but um, it's more of a peace of mind thing to get it, you know, in a brand new holder without like this. You, again, I don't know if you get... I don't know if you guys can see that. I'm sure you probably can, uh, the, the cracking of the, the case there. So looking to cross it over for that reason. Um, so again, at the National, I submitted this. Uh, for some reason, I got the card graded, and it bothers me that, that it's a, a PSA 8. Uh, I just want the, uh, like, get it relabeled. Just show the auto, which is a 10, which is really all that matters. I don't plan on selling it. It's just one of those things that I, I just thought it would look it looks nicer, which is, you know, with the auto being a 10, it's, it's you know, a cool 1950 top, 52 tops throwback. So looking to get that uh, re-slabbed with the label. Um, this card, um, again, I don't know if you'll be able to pick this up, but there's uh, a lot of scratching on the case. There's a gigantic scratch there. There's scratches up here. This is how I got it when I got in the mail. And because it's a PSA 10, um, I don't know. It, it, you know, I want the case to be a 10 too. So, um, And I know one of the things that I need to look into is the perfect fit sleeves, which go over the case. Now, I got this card in the mail like this, so I, I can't blame myself. But uh, it just annoys me that there's those scratches. 
Um, another card uh, that I'm going to look to just, again, there's no reason to get it regraded. Um, now, one of the things I could do is get the auto graded. So I'd love to hear your guys' thoughts. Like, should I now, like if it's a PSA 10 and then the auto is a 10, that adds to the value of the card. Um, but I would love to get this just in a brand new holder. Um, and you can see here, there's a little bit of warping on the, the label there. This, this must have been one of the first uh, PSA uh, graded cards. Uh, so I don't know. I thought it would be nice to get it in a brand new holder. Uh, next up is uh, this Griffey. And uh, again, uh, one of the reasons you can see here, um, the case is cracked right here. So looking to get that uh, re-encapsulated. Again, no, no reason to get the grade updated, uh, but just get the, the case. Now here's one of the, the cards that I'm kind of going back and forth on. Uh, there's no reason for it to not get a 10. It, all the, um, you can see edges 10, centering 9.5, corners 9.5, surface 9.5. I think it'll come back as a PSA 10 um, and successfully cross over. But then again, I mean, is it more valuable just, you know, with, with those subgrades? Uh, I'd love to hear you guys' opinion. And then if I get, you know, will I be, like, should I get the auto graded too? I might just get it, like, you know, just see if the, the, the card could get graded as a PSA 10. I'm surprised this auto got a 10 because, I mean, look how pathetic that auto is. Uh, but anyway, uh, let me know your thoughts on that one. Uh, another card that I'm thinking about getting, uh, uh, see if I can cross over, is this uh, Mike Trout. Uh, so you can see here, uh, the centering was a 9. Everything else was a 9.5. I think it'll successfully cross over. Uh, this is a black uh, numbered to 99. Really cool uh, card, 2013. And um, I don't know, one of those cards that um, I think would be would be nice to cross over to a PSA 10, uh, which I think it will, because usually with PSA, the thing that they're the most lenient on, what I've noticed, is centering. So I think if everything else is a 9.5, it'll cross over successfully. Um, another card that I'm looking to get uh, reholdered, uh, it will it would cross over to a PSA 10 is this Jeter Superfractor. I think I've talked about this a couple times. There's a crack in the case again up here. It's pretty bad actually. You can feel it um, on the edge there. Um, so I'm looking to get it crossed over to a PSA 10. Uh, just an awesome card, one of one. Uh, what I'll do with all of these cards is I'll put a minimum grade on all of them. So if they don't, it, you know, it, if it doesn't get a PSA 10, I'll tell them don't crack it open, leave it in the, the Beckett holder. Uh, and then finally, another card that I might um, want to get regraded is this Jeter SP. Um, this is one of those cards, like, do I put a minimum of an 8 there? Uh, so one of the cool things I think about this is the centering is a perfect 10, uh, whereas all the other grades are, you know, the subgrades are lower. So I wonder, am I better off, like, if it's only a 7.5, uh, do I leave it in the holder as a Beckett 7.5, or do I cross it over to a PSA 7.5? That's why I'm thinking maybe I do minimum of an 8, uh, and then if it doesn't cross over, it just stays in the Beckett holder because it's got that perfect centering 10. Uh, or do I just cross it over as a 7.5? Um, and I always worry about the bias. Like if I say it has to be an 8, then some guy at PSA goes, well, you know, you know we, we're better than an 8, so we're just going to give you a 7.5 and we'll leave it in the Beckett holder. So um, anyway, so there, there's that. All right, so those are the cards that I'm looking to get. Uh, re-encapsulated. Uh, there are a lot of cards I'm looking to get graded. Um, so one of the cards that I'm really high on is this Glaber Torres super short print. This was part of Series 2 uh, 2018 Tops. Um, now the card that I pull, I had actually pulled this out of a pack, but in the upper right hand corner there's this ding uh, that again, I don't know if you guys will be able to pick that up. Um, and so what I did, um, and these are some more recent pickups is I went crazy just picking up <laughs> Glaber Torres super short print, which by the way, um, if you want a card that I am really, really high on that you can get for 40 bucks, this card raw, uh, you can get it for around $40. Um, you know, I'm, uh, you, you guys, you guys know, I've talked many times about, uh, why I think Glaber Torres is the real deal. I think he's going to be a future Hall of Famer. Everyone's talking about Acuna and Soto, and I love 
love Glaber Torres. I watch him every day. And on top of that, he's a Yankee. So it, 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 it's actually surprising that he doesn't get more love. Um, and he did well in the playoffs. Um, so anyway, this was the card that I had. I might not, I might not submit this one, but I went ahead and picked up, uh, here's one <laughs> short print card. Uh, here's another one. Um, and then I also, it was really cool. I, I ended up picking up both of these cards for a total of $10. So, uh, I don't know how that, um, why it was so cheap. Um, there was nobody else that bid on it. It was 10 bucks for both of these cards. And this obviously is the, um, the snowflake one, which I guess is less desirable, but for 10 bucks, why not? Uh, and then finally, uh, I picked up, uh, pick up, picked up. Upped <laughs> the uh, sapphire card, which I think is absolutely beautiful. I love, love this card, and um, hoping that this comes back as a PSA ten. Now this one was not forty dollars. This was this one goes for around three hundred, uh, but in a ten, I've seen this go as high as a thousand dollars. Back when he was uh, killing it in the playoffs, they have uh, the cards have gone down since then, which is this. During the winter, by the way, is a great time to buy, a uh, terrible time to sell. And then when the season starts back up again, is a great time to sell and not a great time to buy. So right now we're in a buyer season, and uh, you can get this card for a lot cheaper than you did uh, back when back in the playoffs. Um, so other cards that I'm looking to submit. Um, so we got the Eloy Jimenez, uh, 2019. Got a couple of Alex Bregman rookies. Alex Bregman. Uh, I believe this is some sort of, I think it's a short print, uh, but just a really cool Alex Bregman card. Yeah, again, I, I don't know if this is a, I think maybe, actually that might just be a regular Series 1. This, believe it or not, this was in just one of my binders. Uh, the Anthony Rendon, um, which is a beautiful card. Beautifully centered. Uh, no reason not to think that it won't uh, do well. Um, <laughs> I was also thinking about submitting this 1990 Tops. Uh, Frank Thomas. Um, I thought it looked good. Uh, the, the only issue is this upper left-hand corner I'm a little nervous about, but I think it has a shot at a 10, so thinking about submitting that. Uh, Shane Bieber Gold, uh, rookie card. Uh, got this Juan Soto. The, car, the reason why I'm a little nervous about this is top to bottom. I don't know if you guys can see that. Uh, clearly top to bottom, it's off, uh, so I may or may not submit that one. Uh, I picked this up. This is an Ozzy Smith rookie card. Um, Got it real cheap for like 25, 30 bucks when I was in Minnesota. So I figured why not get that slabbed. Uh, this is a Glaber Torres 2019 Tops Chrome Refractor. I uh, got a Vlad um, uh, Tops Chrome. Got the uh, the Peter Alonzo, the Rookie of the Year. Uh, two of them. One is just the base and one is the Refractor. And uh, yeah, these are not numbered. Uh, then you got the 2019 Sapphire and... Uh, I really love this card of Otani with the, the Rookie Cup. And then, of course, the big card, which I pulled on camera. One of the biggest pulls of my life, uh, pulling this Eloy Jimenez Sapphire uh, Purple, number 2 of 10. So that is an awesome, awesome card. Uh, then you got the Acuna. This is a short print uh, from Topps Chrome uh, Refractor. So that's definitely going. Uh, then you got this Aaron Nola uh, card that I almost submitted with the last submission. Uh, I figure why not? Uh, Tops Chrome. Got this Garrett Cole rookie. Tops Chrome. Um, got this uh, Nico Horner. Uh, this is numbered. Let's see, uh, numbered to 25. This was I got this at the National. Uh, got this Fernando Tatis at the National. These are the the two Bowman Chrome National cards. And then you have the uh, Ronald Acuna. Bowman Chrome, and uh, this is the uh, back when he was a prospect. So that's a really cool card. Oops. Uh, then you have uh, so there's some more cards that I'm submitting. So uh, and again, let me know if you guys don't think I should submit some of these cards. Um, so you got the Glaber Torres Bowman Chrome, got two Fernando Tatis Bowman Chrome cards. Got, uh, these are Bowman Platinum, Peter Alonzo, and Tatis rookies. Um, this was actually part of my biggest mistakes video that, uh, back a couple of years ago. Um, and I was able to actually take it out and kind of flatten out the, uh, the white a little bit. So I figure, what the hell? It's a uh, 
refractor Bowman Sterling Mookie Betts, who uh, may not stay with the Red Sox uh, after this offseason. It'll be interesting to see where he goes, but I figure, what the hell, I'll submit this one. Uh, then we got a bunch of Topps Tiffany cards. Uh, so you got the Nolan Ryan. Um, so this is a nice, healthy mix of... So here is an example of a card that... I'm submitting because it's Greg Maddox. It's a Greg Maddox rookie. I don't think it'll get a 10 because I think it's a little bit off center. If you can notice top to bottom, it's a little off. I think it has a chance. But then if you look at this Nolan Ryan, it's like perfectly centered. So I, I'm submitting this because I think it's a 10. And I'm submitting this because it's, it's a Greg Maddox rookie <laughs> and it's a Tiffany card. Uh, again, this strawberry looks like a perfect 10, so I'm going to submit it. Uh, Fred McGriff, um, more because of the card. I think it has a chance at a 10, but again, you can see off a little bit left to right. Um, this pocket I'm submitting because I think it's a 10, uh, perfectly centered. Uh, Don Mattingly I'm submitting because I'm a huge Don Mattingly fan. <laughs> uh, then you have the Ozzy Smith, which again, I think is a perfect centering. Here's an example of a card that's way off center. Look at that top to bottom, way off uh, but again, it's a Barry Bonds. Uh, if it's a nine, I think it's worthy of submitting, but it's really badly, man, it's bad. Um, but I think I'm going to submit it anyway, just to see if I can get a nine on that one. Uh, got the Boggs in a 10. Uh, this Bo Jackson, a uh, little bit off uh, left to right, uh, but I think it definitely has a chance. Um, I, I should have pulled my the one that I have that's in a PSA 10, which is better centered. You could tell the difference between the two cards. So this will probably come back as a 9, but I think it's worth a shot. Um, you got the Tony Gwen in a perfect PSA 10, uh, or at least in my opinion. <laughs> uh, then you have this Matt Williams rookie, which I think has a shot. Um, George Brett. I mean, look at this. I, I mean, the card is as perfect as it's going to be. Uh, in my opinion, so going to submit that. Um, this Barry Larkin, again, because it's a Barry Larkin rookie, uh, I don't know, we'll see. Uh, Ricky Henderson rookie, again, I'm submitting it because I, or Henderson rookie, <laughs> a Ricky Henderson Tiffany, uh, again, submitting it because I think it will get a 10. Uh, Mark McGuire, again, submitting it because of the card, not because I think it's going to get a 10. I think it'll get a 9 or an 8. Um, you can see it's way off center from top to bottom. Unfortunately, it's like the big cards, um, for whatever reason, di didn't have great centering. Uh, and this is one of them. Um, submitting this Palmero, I think it has a chance at a 10. Um, I know Palmero is not nearly as popular as he was. Uh, and then this David Cohn rookie card, because I'm a huge Yankee fan. And why not? A little bit off top to bottom, but I think it has a shot. Um, and then two other cards, uh, you got this Deshaun Watson. Um, it's got a little bit of white in the bottom left-hand corner, but I figured I'd go ahead and submit it. Um, really cool cards. Deshaun Watson's having another fantastic year, and it's a rookie card and an auto, so might crack that out. And then finally, um, this Walker Bueller, uh, clearly authentic card. I'm thinking about pulling out and just... You know, it'll probably get a PSA 10, I, I think, although I'm rattling it around in that, <laughs> in that holder. Um, and then just uh, for the hell of it, um, here's a bunch of cards that I don't plan on submitting. So let me know if you guys see any cards that you're like, dude, you got to submit that card. These are cards that I'm not submitting. Um, so a couple of Glaber Torres rookies. Um, you guys know uh, I'm big on Glaber, but I can't submit every card. Got this Rendon. Number to two, uh, 299, purple, cool card, but again, I'm not submitting it. Love this Jeter card, um, just one of my favorite Jeter cards, and it's got like all of his stats on the back, and it's the first card in the set, so I thought about submitting this. A uh, couple of Trouts, uh, Trout, Bowman, Sterling, Griffey, Devers, Rookie, Juan Soto. So like the, I've noticed that the Bowman Soto cards don't really go for that much. So that's why I'm not submitting that. Uh, Mike Trout. Um, love this uh, Don Mattingly gold label card. I might, I, I thought about submitting it just for the, for my own personal collection. Uh, I saw these two cards. They look perfect. So I, I thought about, I might submit these two, uh, Schmidt and Trammell. 
Um, I love this card, not because of the value of the card, but because, you know, the 55 tops mantle never existed. And I thought it would be cool to get it in a holder. So I, I've gone back and forth on it. Uh, right now it's out. Uh, the Kevin Mitchell rookie. And again, all these 87 tops are all Tiffany cards. Uh, this Lindor card is really cool, uh, but it's off center. Um, so that's why I, I'm probably not going to submit it, but it's a really cool Lindor USA card. Um, Garrett Cole rookie. Um, I want to submit this, but there's you probably can't even pick it up, but there's a little bit of a, an edging issue with this rookie, so probably not going to submit it. Uh, Garrett Cole rookie debut. Got another Glaber. Uh, got this Trout. Um, let's pull a bunch... Uh, the 83 Don Russ, uh, Tony Gwen, again, it's off center. It might be worthy of submitting. It'll probably get a nine though. Uh, I, I don't think it has a chance at a 10 just because of the centering on it, but uh, maybe I will submit this one. It's pretty nice. Uh, I don't know. Let me know. Let me know your thoughts guys. Um, <laughs> so I thought about submitting this just cause it's like, it's really nice looking and like to have an 82 tops card and a 10, I thought would be nice. Um, Ozzy Virgil rookie. Matt Chapman rookie, Ozzy Albies. Again, these are cards that I'm not submitting. Um, this Peter Alonzo I would definitely submit, but the the upper uh, this corner up here is a bit of a mess. This Raphael Devers pink, a couple of Anthony Rendon rookies, uh, Nick Senzel. I might wait to see how he does in the majors. <coughs> Same thing with this guy, Kyle Tucker. Got a Rendon rookie. Got this Walker Bueller. I already have one of these in a PSA 10. Oh, this is the Bregman short print. That's like the complete set short print, but <clears throat> looking at it a little bit closer, it's uh, got some issues. Uh, Griffey Diamond Kings, Chapman, Mike Trout, another Mike Trout. Uh, let's see. Got this Glaber Torres, John Crook, Cal Ripken. Uh, uh, let's see what else. Uh, B.J. Surhoff, Dave Winfield, Dwight Gooden, Robin Yount, Roger Clemens, Will Clark. <coughs> this is one of those really cool cards, but like off center, top to bottom. Again, Jose Canseco, way off center. Otherwise, I would definitely submit it. Uh, Roger Clemens. This one looks really nice, but uh, you know, I don't know even know if like a '87 tops Clemens is even collectible. Uh, Tatis rookie. Peter Alonzo rookie, Mike Trout, Griffey. This Griffey 90 uh, Dunross just looks awesome. So I thought about submitting it, but it's really risky. I mean, if it comes out as a nine, it's basically worthless. <coughs> you got the Acuna Instant Impact, Joe Adele, Ronald Acuna, Soto, another Acuna. These Acuna cards don't really go for much, even in a PSA 10. Uh, Jamie Moria rookie card, Garrett Cole, Derek Jeter, and then, of course, uh, the Don Mattingly short print, which, again, <coughs> I would get graded only for the purposes of the short print. And then, of course, the cards in the background are cards that are very close to being submitted, uh, but right now are on the outside looking in. So there you have it, guys. A uh, lot to think about. I haven't finalized my list, but it's always fun to kind of put together these, you know, these lists of, uh, you know, which 50 cards am I going to submit. So... Uh, even even with the cards that I showed you guys, I think I'm well over 50 cards, so I'm going to have to cut a couple of cards out. So let me know your thoughts. Let me know if there's any cards I definitely should submit or definitely should not, um, or if you have any opinion. I realize it's hard to really tell by looking at a video what cards, you know, might be a 10, It's you know, without looking at it closer. So anyway, those are my pickups. That is my PSA submission. Let me know your thoughts. Thanks for watching, guys, and I will talk to you. You later.